Let's talk about being selfish by Joy Berry, illustrated by John Costanza. Let's talk about being selfish. Have you ever been with a person who was eating something and would not share it with you? May I please have some? Have you ever played with a person who would not share his or her toys with you? May I play with one of your toys? No! People who do not share their things with others are selfish. Selfish people care only about themselves. They do not care about the thoughts and feelings of other people. When you are with someone who is selfish, how do you feel? What do you think? What do you do? When you are with someone who is selfish, you may feel left out, frustrated, and angry. You may think this person is not fun to be with. You may choose not to play with the person. Will you play with me? No, thank you. It is important to treat other people the way you want to be treated. If you want people to share their things with you, you will need to share your things with them. You will need to be unselfish. Can I paint too? Sure. Being unselfish does not mean that you have to share all of your things all of the time. Golly, what should I do? I have only one sucker. How can I share with Jennifer? If you have something to eat and there is not enough to share with the person you are with, put the food away. Try not to eat food in front of the person who does not have anything to eat. Do you want to play? Sure. If you are going to share some food or anything else with another person, try to be as fair as possible. Here is a good rule to follow when you are dividing something. Let one person do the dividing and the other person do the choosing. I'll divide the piece of cake and you choose which half you want. That's fair. If you have something special that you do not want to share, do not use it in front of another person. That is, unless the other person is content not to use it or the other person has something else to use. This red car is very special to me. Could you use the blue one? Sure. You do not have to share your things with anyone who may lose or damage them. Put your things away if you are afraid this might happen. The last time the baby got into my things, he ruined them. I'd better put them away. When you share your things, help the other person take care of them. Show the person how to use your things in the right way. Tell the person where to use your things. You may play with my tape recorder, but I want to show you how it works. And you have to promise that you won't take it outside. If there is only one thing that must be shared by two or more people, be fair. Take turns using it. Let each person use it for an equal amount of time. Someone can count, or you can use a clock or timer to help keep track of the time. My time is up. It's your turn. If you want to be happy, you will treat other people the way you want to be treated. This means you will not be selfish because you do not want other people around you to be selfish. Thanks for joining us, guys. And remember that AM and PM story time is for any time of the day, whether you're just waking up, noontime snacking, or bedtime is happening. Stop by and enjoy a book with us.